from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The new 140-ton computer numerical control lathe installed at Martinison and Coote's 14,000 square meter Benoni workshop enables the company to repair large rotating components such as generator rotors, turbines and large fans. Skulkberger has a story. Martinison and Coots provides in-field services and repairs and off-site refurbishments of rotating electrical equipment, motors and generators for large companies and projects. While it is focused mainly on serving Africa, the company is involved in projects as far afield as Panama. The new lathe is part of its investments in its seven workshop facilities in South Africa. The company has about 525 local employees and 100 more in Southern African countries. Teams are constituted based on the required skills and deployed across the continent and increasingly further abroad. Martinez and Coots marketing executive Mike Chamberlain provides details about the company's development, facilities and its people. We acquired a, a mechanical company in our, as a, a subsidiary of Martinez and Coots called um, Actom Turbo Machines. And um, we've built this, cap this capability specifically to be able to do large machines, a lot of which are power generation in the power generation sector. So typically we've um, built the, uh, the, the rotor clean condition room, the stator clean condition room. We also have specialized equipment to remove coil retaining rings and um, the cranage capacity and everything that goes along with it and all the test equipment. And our last uh, major purchase, we also, before that, we had a 32 ton balancing machine. But that's on another site, just down the road at, at Cleveland. And then we've, our last major acquisition has been this 140-ton um, Wagner lay that we purchased from Germany so we can machine large shafts and large rotating equipment. There was a shortage of in the country. There is only one other company that has bigger machine than this in South Africa. Our people is our biggest strength. And they've got to have a service attitude and be willing to um, respond to customers' requirements at any time. So typically when one of these big machines stops, either the generation stops or the, or the production of a, of a big operation will stop. So it will cost millions of rands and dollars. And therefore our guys need to be able to react fast, but not only be able to react fast, they have to have the correct skills. In fact, the more difficult thing is actually having the right people. The equipment is relatively easy to obtain, but having the people is our strength and their flexibility and attitude towards customers and being an aftermarket service company makes us focus on the, the servicing of customers. And that's exactly what our guys have, they've learned this as a culture and they've grown used to the service industry. Crossing borders internationally is never easy and Africa's got other complications. So the logistics issue becomes a lot more difficult because you don't have modern roads and and, and be able to, so you need to be able to plan that and execute that very quickly. And the conditions often are in harsh environments. So we've just recently in, installed a 150 megawatt machine um, turbo generator in Panama. So there it used to rain, you know, just about every second day it was 40 degrees. It's on the equator. The humidity is terrible. So the, the guys really, their clothing hardly dried, but our guys are able to cope with those. In the DRC as well, in the rainy season, it can be very awkward. We've done a number of projects there and uh, typically in power generation and also large motors. And those conditions are difficult, whereas not, that's not weather related and also because of the environment. You have been very remote locations. It's very difficult for them to be able to traverse and to get around. Other news making headlines. Dual City Development Project marks a turning milestone. The Dual City Development Project in Johannesburg is coming to life the first sod recently turned and further development plans for the inner city precinct unveiled. And here am I today actually making the biggest investment in the city of Johannesburg in many years, single biggest investment. So the team from Atiberi and all your partners, thank you so very much for making this dream a reality. As a city of Johannesburg, this is a catalyst. This is a catalyst for reigniting the city of Johannesburg. We're a city with over 300,000 housing backlog. We're a city with almost 160,000 of our people looking for accommodation. We're a city, almost 900,000 of our people are unemployed today. One in three of our residents are unemployed in the city of Johannesburg. And without Johannesburg working, South Africa has got no chance of ever succeeding. So this project 
it's actually more than important. Not just important for Johannesburg, it's important for South Africa. It's important for Africa. That's Krimo Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. Thank <laughs> you.